Hello everybody and welcome back to another Jessica Jones episode and I'm sorry if I look sweaty it's because I am these lights are killing me and I just filmed another episode so I am hot as hell but anyways this is season 1 episode 4 aka 99 friends he should be safe shit should so is that sign just for show or do you actually have an office bitch you have to be rude. I tried to get into his apartment for like for five minutes. Sorry. It's Carlo. I, I thought I'd gotten used to his lies and his wandering penis. <laughs> My lawyer says that I need pictures for the divorce of to her. The kind of pictures you're asking for. They're hard to look at. They're harder to forget. That's what I pay my shrink for. Circle of life. Oh my god, so, no, wait, I need to tell you this. So I went to the movies today with some friends and my dad's friend picked us up to give me a ride back home. But before that, he met, like we had to park at some hotel. It was a really fucking nice hotel, but he wasn't staying there. Um, he was waiting for a friend, right? Who came in like a really nice car behind us. He got off and then he got in the car because we were gonna give him a ride somewhere, right? And so he just starts talking, he didn't know, we introduced each other, he was nice I guess. So we start driving and we were looking for gas, blah blah blah. Then he asked my friend for his phone to make a call, so he did. And then his phone starts ringing and he's like, oh yeah, hello, well, yeah, I've been with a... Uh, with my friend all day and blah 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 oh you don't believe me you don't believe me and then he hands his phone over to his friend and he's like mi mujer he said mi mujer which means my woman but could also mean my wife and then my my friend's dad he, he, he picked up the phone he was like yeah he was with me all day we just picked him up from a random hotel a really nice hotel it's not random and he wasn't even there anyways um yeah, he's been with me all day. We've, we've been busy and blah, blah, blah. And then my friend, uh, like my friend, the, the one that the dad's driving is sitting in the front of the car. And then my other friend's here. And then I'm in the middle. And then here's the guy, right? Um, and then my friend like grabs me. And I'm just like, I don't know what to do. So we looked at each other and we were like, what the fuck? And then the guy, I guess he realized that you know, we were like, what the hell is going on? And he goes, oh no, that's my sister. We work together, you know? So I haven't been picking up her calls all day and I just, I needed an alibi. And I was like, yeah, sure, your sister, right? He said, mi mujer, which could mean his wife or his woman. That's like, that's no way you call your sister, okay? And I was like, dude, this guy was cheating. He was cheating on his wife. And then this guy covered for him, like, bromance, I know bromance is a thing and blah blah blah, but girl, you should not cheat. So, get, let's get back to the episode. Get the ram. <laughs> she just climbed. Lock yourself up. You sure there's a body in there? That's some good door, okay? Really big fan of your show back in the day. <laughs> it's Patsy. Really want to be a friend. Sweet, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, uh, wait. He can stay. She's gonna explain? Well, I mean, yeah, because she needs him. I mean, how can you testify? Be I mean, how can you be alright? She's just being dramatic. Dramatic? Right? That's not dramatic. Use you want to see dramatic? Uh, just watch me. You're not going to make her feel safe, Sergeant. Go home. I he got can, the He can't testify that the Kilgrave exists. And I promise you, after this circus is over, I will take you anywhere you want to go. Okay. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're bringing her here. We have a reservation. Wendy, you don't have exclusive rights to every restaurant we've ever been to. Just the one where you proposed. You proposed to her here? Jesus, Jerry. Did you forget? 
I didn't oh my forget. God. Proposing, no. Never gonna happen. Ouch. That looks suspicious. That place looks abandoned. There. You were married to her. You already have her dirt. She didn't know mine. Well, you're sneaky. That doesn't mean she is. I didn't say it would be easy. You do owe her that favor, Fine. though. You know, and then this Chinese dude comes in, and his eyes were red. Oh my god, no, this is dude. not real. Kilgrave made me do it. He's our gardener. He landed oh on Joan's God, beach. No, I thought it was stop a meeting, it. Until I made a mistake. Okay, I believe this talk, one. man. Bad. And not just Lucy. All the girls oh in the neighborhood. Oh, my God. When he speaks, they spread their legs. And made me slide it up my... <sighs> Get dreads. Oh. Dude. What are you looking at? Huh? He what leaves the hell are you it. At, huh? Hey, uh, watch him. Watch him. Really watching the ceiling melt. Now I know how it feels. She works so hard, her, okay. Mean. Jessica. Creepy. Are you Jessica? The kid, please don't. Yeah. Stop looking for me. Patsy Walker is safe. What did you say? You don't have to worry about her. For now. Who told you that? The man. He said he liked her apology. He liked her apology. How old are you? She was lost. I was just trying to help. Stay away from her! Bitch, she was trying to help. I mean, not really, but... <laughs> you can't. I got something for you. Don't open the door. I don't trust this. I don't this. want. I mean, even if he's not in the, under the spell anymore. Well, it might help. I wouldn't open my door. Please. I would. I would hire bodyguards. Put it on the floor. Right. Just leave the gift and go. Now go to the end of the hall. He's kind of cute. I mean, you could marry him, Trish, after you forget that he tried to kill you. Mm, what? Is it legal? I mean, he's a cop. No. Okay. <laughs> I have such a bad feeling right now. Maybe I'm just nervous. Okay. Uh, okay. That was fucking fast. She just got there. Can you like talk about your day or something? I have a gun on her for Christ's sake, Carlo. You shoot at me, I'll pull the bullet out of my ruined jacket and shove it up your ass with my pinky finger. And who do you think? <laughs> You're bulletproof. Ah! Jesus! You're not bulletproof. Not bulletproof. Audrey, this is insane, honey. We don't have to do this. We can walk out of here right now. She didn't have laser eyes either, or she would have used them. Laser eyes? Who said I had laser oh, eyes? Oh, uh, Oh, that dick with the Aston Martin. I served him a subpoena. Gregory Spheris, uh, I saw with his wife. They're very talky. Look, you're all well, all around me. New people were raining down hell. So go after the big green guy, the flag waver. I wasn't even there. Consider it a preventative measure for next time. Bitch! You think you're the only ones who lost people? You think you're the only ones with pain? You think you can take your shit and dump it on me? You don't get to do that. Welcome to the goddamn club. I lost mine in some random accident. Do you see me trying to kill every shitty driver? Because <laughs> I don't work my shit out on other people. Disappear. Nobody, especially me, ever hears from you again. She's not gonna do anything to them, though. Friends. She would never. Tomorrow to make sure you. Ouch. I 
would love to have that much running water, stupid socialism. He tried to kill you. It wasn't me. I ship this in a really weird and twisted way. I ship this. I don't I'd shoot you by accident. It's worth the risk. I mean, I'm shipping it, but it's weird at the same time. Is that normal? Dude, if I drink, I get sleepy. How can she work and still be like functional? I would fall asleep. Is it the neighbor? The crazy, incestuous neighbor? Oh my god, Jessica Jones is so good. This show is hella great. Jesus. Jesus Christ, I can't believe. Like, I, we like the dude. We like the high dude. Because, you know, he, it's him. He's always high. He doesn't know what the fuck is going on around him. And, you know, typical high dudes. He was following her the whole time. Yes, he, she was bumping into him the whole time we should have known we should have known i say we but i mean me <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching this episode with me and as always i'm sarah Viano, and i'll see you in my next video i am peter pan i'll never be a man if you never want to grow take my hand i'll take you to neverland i am peter pan i'll never be a man